Let's take one more question. Let us say we have a running stream of numbers. Right? So when I say running stream of numbers, I mean that, uh, you know, we are constantly getting some numbers. Okay. Right? And we have, some, we have a number k, let us say k is equal to 4. Right? <coughs> so in the running stream of number, at any given time, I want to find the kth largest element received till now. Right? So out of all the elements that I have received till now, I want to find the fourth largest element. Okay. Right? So initially, let us say, uh, so I'll wait for first k elements. So 5, 1, 6, 8, or, or maybe 9, like this. Right? And then 0. Right? 10, 12, 2, 3, 15. So let us say this is how the numbers are coming. Right? So first okay. I will wait for the k elements, 4 elements. Yeah. So once I have received k elements, I will print the kth largest element. Right? So kth largest element in this case is going to be 0. Right? Yes. So largest element is 9, second largest element is 5, third largest element is 1 and fourth largest element is 0. Right? Then yeah. when I receive 6, now the fourth largest element will be 1. Yes. Right? Then when I receive 8, the fourth largest element will be 5. Then when I receive 10, the fourth largest element received till now will be 10, 9, 8 and 6. So 6, right, and so on, right? Yes. So whenever it receives an element, it will print the kth largest element received till now. Yes. Right, so how, how can we do it? <clears throat> Again, same heap concept? Yes, a min heap will do here. Uh, min heap or a max heap? No, a max heap, max heap, sorry, a max heap, a max heap with the... Uh, Left, um, the last node will be the answer for this every time. So again, max heap or a min heap? Max heap, sorry, max heap. What, what is the element that we are removing? Are we removing the minimum element or we are removing the maximum element? We are removing the kth largest element. No, kth largest element we are printing. Yes. yes. Right? But when we receive a new element, we will remove one element from the heap, right? Yes. Because, because the size of heap is going to be k. Yeah. Right. So what is the element that we are removing? Are we removing the smallest element received till now? Uh, I, are, we, are we removing the smallest element out of these k plus 1 elements? Or we are removing the largest element? Uh, we are removing the largest element here. So let us say initially the heap is going to be uh, you are saying max heap, right? Yeah. So max heap means that the heap is going to be something like this. 9, 5, 1 and 0. Right? Yeah. This, this is the max heap. So yeah. when I receive 1, will I remove 9? No, we will print 0. Okay, so we have printed 0. Which means that we have printed the minimum element of the heap. Yes. Right? That is fine. So I have printed the minimum element from the heap and now should I insert 0 or should I not insert 0 in the heap? Uh, it is already there so we won't insert it there uh, but we... Uh, when Sorry, we should I insert 6? Uh, I am talking about 6. So now we have received yeah. 6. So should I insert uh, 6 or not insert 6? So uh, we will remove the uh, largest element uh, 9 and then we will insert, uh, if, we, if we will compare if 9 is, uh, uh, sorry, if 6 is smaller than 9, if it is, then we will uh, remove the uh, root and insert this uh, new element. So now my heap will become 6, 5, five. 1 and 0. Yes. Right? Yeah. And when I print the minimum element out of this heap, I will again get a 0. Which is not same as what I wanted. I wanted 1. Right? 
Yes. Yes. No. So it won't be. Okay, uh, we remove this. Okay, we will remove zero. Yes. We will remove zero. Okay. So should we should we have a min heap or a max heap? A min heap, sorry. A min, min heap, heap will do here. Right? Because yeah. uh, we we will keep track of the k largest element found till now. Right? Yeah. We will remove yeah. the minimum element. We don't we don't want the element which is less than the top k elements in the heap. Right? Yes. So uh, let us just uh, let us just understand the answer, right? The answer is that we will keep a heap of size k and we will insert the first k element, the min heap. We will keep a min heap of size k and we will insert first k elements in the heap, the min heap. So let us say the heap is like this, right? Whenever and and then we print the minimum element from this heap so printing the minimum element from this heap means we will we, we we just need to print the top element yes right so this is going to take uh this is going to take uh, a constant time yes. right then whenever a new element come we will first remove the element from the heap removing the element from the heap me so we, uh, whenever a new element comes six comes so we will compare six with the current minimum Yes. Right. If six is if the new element <coughs> if the new element is greater than the current minimum, it means this new element is part of the top k elements, and the current minimum element is not going to be part of the top k elements. Yes. Right. So we will remove the current element, which means that we will remove zero. So removing zero means that we will swap zero and nine, and then we will heapify this nine. Heapify nine means that the heap will become 159 and then we will insert 6 so inserting 6 means that we will insert 6 at the end and then we will keep on moving 6 to the parent as long as <coughs> as long as 6 is less than the uh, 6 is less than the parent right because 6 is not less than 5 so it will not move to the parent so the heap will remain like this right then in the next shot when 8 comes so one will get printed because one is now the current minimum, uh, not uh, minimum. Uh, one is the kth largest element of the uh, elements which are found till now, right? And then we will see whether eight need to be inserted or not, right? Yes. So if instead of eight we have received a zero here, then zero will not be inserted and heap remains like this, right? Yes. Because zero is not part of the top k elements received till now we have bigger elements than zero yeah right so whenever a new element comes we are removing one element from the heap in the worst case and we are inserting a new element in the heap in the worst case right so whenever a new element comes in the worst case we are performing these two operations we are removing from the heap and we are inserting in, in the heap Yes. Right. And both the operations are going to take log k time. So the total time taken for a new element, whenever a new element comes, the total time that we are taking is log k. Right. And we are also printing the minimum element, which means which which will take constant time because that is the topmost element. <coughs> right. Yes. So uh, <coughs> if we look at the brute force approach, then the brute force approach is what? Brute force approach is that. Whenever you receive k elements, you keep them in an array instead of a heap and then you find the minimum element of that array and print that array element. Now whenever a new element comes, you will find the position of that element in the array, right? We can have that th these sorted, right? So yes. we have these first k elements sorted 0, 1, 5, 9. So whenever a new element comes 6. So we will see that 6 fits in between. So we will remove 0 from this array and we will shift rest of the elements to make room for 6. Right? So this is a brute force approach which is going to take on the order of k time for each of the new element. 
Yes. Right? Because in the worst case, we may be shifting all the elements. Right? Yeah. But he is going to take much less time. Right? So again, the hint is the same. Whenever we have to constantly, whenever we have to continuously find the minimum or the maximum element from a group of elements and that group keeps changing. So maybe we, we should we should think of using heap in that question. Yeah. Right? 